Hello, my name is Vladimir Schnapper. I am product manager at Vector, responsible for Canoe Options ISO 11783. We have been active and have implemented many new features in releases 17 and 17 Series Spec 2. My colleague Mario Mazar will now show you these new functionalities. Proportional and non-proportional fonts can now be defined separately. In addition, the AEF font is fully integrated and can be used as a proportional font. In the VT window, the corresponding setting is made on the configuration page. For VT interaction layer, special couple functions are called. In a distributed installation, there used to be a problem that deleting stored versions, triggered by the delete stored version message, only occurred on the desktop computer, while saving screenshots, triggered by the screen capture message or the couple call VTIL, save as image, was only done on the runtime computer. This made it difficult to implement some automated test scenarios. We harmonized this behavior. Both deleting saved versions and saving screenshots are now executed synchronously on both desktop and runtime computers. Further requirements from the AEF ISOBUS conformance test are fulfilled. They specify the reaction to different protocol violations. The support of the passive mode in VT window has been significantly improved. It is now possible to follow the display of the real active virtual terminal and all user interactions, even if the corresponding object pool has already been transferred before the start of the canoe measurement. Just make the object pool that shall be used available to the VT window. In addition, all properties of the active VT are clearly presented in the passive VT window. Properties of all connected working sets are also presented. We made the handling of auxiliary inputs and auxiliary functions easier. In the auxiliary function view, they are now sorted by IDs, just like in most real virtual terminals. Furthermore, it is now possible to remove all assigned auxiliary inputs with just one mouse click. External reference pointers, that means references to an object in another object pool, are fully supported. The objects involved are not only displayed correctly, but can also be edited. Tooltip, GoTo and Preview also work correctly. The new couple callback function on address claim conflict can be used to analyze the behavior of the simulated node in the case of address conflicts on the bus and to influence it as desired. It is very easy to make the behavior conform to the standard as well as to introduce arbitrary deviations from it. For example, in case of an address conflict, the simulated node can take a wrong address, keep its current address contrary to the standard or go offline for no reason. Other behaviors are also possible. On address claim conflict is of course available in all ISOBUS simulation libraries. In the interaction layer configuration dialog, all message or signal attributes are now clearly displayed and can be overwritten there. These influence the send behavior of a simulated node. And this regardless of whether the database is a DBC or an ARXML file. Thanks a lot, Mario. That's it. If you have any questions, please find the information in the online help. Or contact our support. We are happy to help you. Have fun working with Canoe ISO 11783. See you soon.